I'm Susan, and this is my first time at the San Diego Code Camp. So you're a volunteer? I'm a volunteer. I volunteered because I want to give back to the community that gives me free stuff. <laughs> so if I'm going to get free education, the least I can do is spend two hours helping organize and give somebody a break to go do a class or something. Today I'm doing registration. Here we have our lovely pens, our, our, our raffle tickets, and our geek camp, uh, sorry, geek dinner. And of course the sign-in sheet with the last name, no comma, first name. <laughs> and apparently all the important people were left off the registration list because they're presenting and apparently they don't register. So <laughs> we're having fun with that this morning. Hi, my name is Woody Pewitt. Um, uh, one of the co-organizers of SoCo Code Camp. Well, we've done San Diego now. This is the fifth time um, uh, when in the SoCal area. This is actually the 12th uh, Code Camp that we've done. Um, there's been five in Fullerton, this one now five in San Diego, and now two at USC. Well, I primarily wind up dealing with the website, which means uh, trying to drive speakers to sign up to give presentations. Uh, then I wind up um, doing the scheduling. Uh, I fortunately have gotten myself out of the actual building of the schedule now. Um, a few people have, have built the schedule. Uh, it's probably the hardest single job in all of Code Camp is building the schedule. But I at least support it and get it, get someone who's going to do it, all the data that they need, and get it posted and everything. And besides that, I deal with the sponsors in that, you know, make sure they get up on the website. Um, we have other people that actually, you know, deal with the payment and stuff from the sponsors. Um, and then I also try and organize getting some swag so that we can do the raffle at the end of Code Camp. So actually we have such a big mailing list of regular presenters that it's a pretty easy job. Um, and then we always, to everybody who's ever registered on the website, um, you know, we blast out to the speakers to try and get a few talks up on the website. And then we do a big blast to everybody who's registered on the website. And we also encourage them to talk because, you know, some of our best presenters used to never present. And they started just because Code Camp was, you know, there. And, and we've never had to turn a presenter down. We, we've even had presenters in the past, you know, post like eight sessions and then we schedule all eight and they go, wait, no, you're supposed to pick one or two. And it's like, no, you, you post the talk, you're going to get scheduled. So we, we've gotten really fortunate that we, we have a lot of space at the different venues that we go to. So you post it, yeah, we're going to schedule it. So. As you know, David, um, myself and Michelle, when we were doing this, we, we teach here. And so we just reached out to uh, Helen Montgomery, the uh, program representative that um, you know manages all of the technology classes. And she liked the idea, and she came on board and took care of all the red tape uh, here on the campus and has always hosted it, and it's been great. And, and this facility, we don't have any really one big room um, we have a lot of smaller rooms. I think the biggest room can hold 50 people, um, but that's actually kind of nice. I mean, we'll we'll double book sessions, you know, if, if it's a really popular or something. And uh, you know, it's it's we don't get everybody together um, in this at this location very easily, but it, it still works out great just because of the numbers of rooms that we have. Hi, I'm Mark Rosenberg. This is my fifth San Diego Code San Diego Code Camp. Uh, I've been involved in all 12 uh, in the Southern California area, um, may, uh, doing volunteers here and in Fullerton, and for uh, the uh, USC Code Camp, uh, I helped in kind of like an advisory role to help get them started because there, there were different people running that Code Camp and they hadn't run one before, and so we gave them a chance. So I guess it's been 12 this was like our 12th Southern California Code Camp over five years. Well, we need volunteers um, for like check-in and to make sure that um, um, the rooms are all set up and help the speakers out if there's a problem. Um, so that's what my role has been, has been to uh, help us get the speakers, uh, get the, excuse me, volunteers. My main role has been in uh, Fullerton. Andrew Karcher has been 
doing the same role in San Diego for uh, about half, I uh, think three or four of them. So this is kind of my first time doing all of them. How do you find the volunteers? Um, through the website and through previous volunteers. If you volunteered at a code camp, you get an email from me for the next one saying, thanks for volunteering to the last one. We'd really love to have you help. And actually, um, a lot of the volunteers have a good time. You, it's it, One of the things about volunteering, especially at like the check-in table, is you meet everybody. So it's a chance for you to get, uh, um, especially because developers tend to be little silo people who don't get out much kind of thing. I mean, we, you know, we work with other developers, but we sit in front of a computer all day. By, and, and, you know, Twitter and, and those kinds of things are really our way of communication rather than face-to-face. -face. Well, this is a chance for you to get a, a, a meet face-to-face, -face, meet a lot of other developers. And volunteering kind of gives you a little push to get out there and, and talk to people that you wouldn't ordinarily get.